All right, after five hours of work, I have the forward main uh, elevator spar and the rear spar completely drilled to the proper size and cleat code. That included drilling, I don't know how many holes, a lot of them, and cleat going up to different sizes. And here are other parts that were put on as well too. Here's how the forward spar looks. So now I'm going to deburr them and wash them in a solvent to get all the other things off, including the stickers. And then I will rivet them. I just got my cherry, or not cherry, but my uh, pneumatic pop rivet gun in the mail last night. And so I'll try that out and uh, see how it works. All right. All right, so I just took the pieces apart that I had uh, previously drilled and deburred, and now I just put a, a nice self-etching primer on it, on all the different parts, so that way the mating surfaces, in case there's ever corrosion down the road, um, I will be able to at least rest assured that it won't be in that specific spot. Uh, I don't mind if pieces like this right here uh, are completely bare, 6061 aluminum works really well against this corrosion but if there is a corrosion, I can spot it there easily, not inside the mated surfaces. So I went to a AutoZone type store, got some lacquer thinner to clean the pieces first, and then primer. Uh, it has to be a self-etching primer, so it makes a chemical change to the metal. And so the pieces are now painted, and I'll come back later this afternoon and rivet them together. All right, so the spar is now pre... Um, so you call it a uh, corrosion proofed with the self etching primer. You can see a side spray of it here. And it's re out ready to go. I have my new uh, rivet gun with my first rivet. There are 12 rivets I'll be driving of a specific length. These are CCP 46. Uh, and I'm going to drive those. And then I'm going to try my new pneumatic air riveter I just got. And I uh, went ahead and got a uh, quick connect fitting for it and I pop that on and I have my air compressor out and Noah is trying to eat something I'm sure. Hey Noah! Alright. Alright and I went ahead and popped all the rivets. You'll notice actually two of them on either side the X's are not popped yet because that's where part of the ribs will go into the spar later on. On your side, I'll flip it over so you can see the back side. And the mirrored opposite side. And I will use some of the uh, paint remover thinner and stuff and get this thing off later. Just wasn't necessary at the time. But it's looking pretty good. Alright, I just finished riveting the front spar right here, and that is all completely riveted. And now the rear spar is complete as well, because I finished that first. And this is the outline of what the elevator will look like. And then all these little things look like nails are all the rivets that I pulled from the my pneumatic rivet gun, which is this red one right here that I just got recently. I've just been putting some oil into the air inlet hose so it can keep nice and clean while I go through the project.